Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadwick with Premier Guitar, and we're back for another gear spotlight, and this time we're with Kevin from Godlike Distributing, and we are going to look at a new eco-friendly power supply. How are you doing, Kevin? Doing great, thanks, Jason. How are you doing? Great, man. Good. So uh, we were talking a little bit before we hit record, uh, and I told you to save it all so we could uh, get <laughs> it on trying. camera. I'm trying. It's ready to burst, though. So, uh, but uh, uh, you have a new eco-friendly power supply. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? That's correct. Sure. So. Uh, for the past almost 20 years, we've been marketing uh, a power supply called the Power All, and it's a single outlet power supply with a very high current rating that you could power your entire pedal board with or multiple pedal boards. Uh, it's got a very high current rating, so you could just daisy chain uh, multiple pedals off it up to the 2000 milliamp maximum current rating. So. We wanted to do something. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of uh, talk in the news or around the world about you know climate crisis and going green, and we just wanted to do something. We felt that this was a great product that would fit uh, into this uh, this movement, and we wanted to figure out a way to create an environmentally conscious power supply for your effect pedals. So this is the new uh, Eco Adapter version of the Power All. So. It is a single outlet space power supply. As you can see, it takes up one outlet space in your outlet strip. Uh, it, it outputs nine volts DC at 2000 milliamps, and you could daisy chain multiple pedals off it. Um, the interesting thing about it, uh, the Eco Adapter, is that we partnered with a company called uh, carbonfund.org. Carbonfund.org is um, basically, they uh, assess the carbon footprint of your product and then as you market your product, uh, you purchase carbon credits to uh, offset the carbon footprint of your product and neutralize it so it basically becomes a carbon-free product and doesn't have any impact on the environment. So uh, it's a pretty complex process. You have to get a life cycle assessment of your product. So we did all that stuff uh, over the, during the, the past year of lock, being locked down, we, we, uh, we, we dove into this and um, we're able to get the uh, certification with Carbon Fund. Uh, also, the new version of the Eco Adapter is level six uh, energy efficiency level from the Department of Energy of the United States. So uh, basically, that means it's uh, an extremely efficient power supply and doesn't waste any electricity. Uh, to kind of further uh, put the icing on the eco-friendly aspect of this product, we also did 100% recycled and recyclable packaging materials. So here is a... Uh, packaged version of the eco adapter again 100 percent uh you know uh printing uh recyclable card cardboard the whole nine yards so um that's it that's the eco adapter yeah. <laughs> so tell me when you were kind of like I said you're on lockdown you're kind of working on this uh yeah. and you said the previous iteration had kind of run its course what were some of the uh, the goals you had in mind with this as far as just on a purely technical level as to trying to decide how many milliamps to put in, what should be the form factor? Can you tell sure. me a little bit about the process behind that? Absolutely. Um, so one of the principal marketing aspects of the Power All has always been the fact that it is a single outlet uh, power supply. So it only takes up one space on your uh, outlet strip, or they call this a wall mounted uh, version where it kind of throws the body of the power supply off to the side so that mm -hmm. even if you plug it into a wall, you still don't, you don't cover an additional outlet space, which a lot of uh, previous types of linear power supplies used to do. So um, that was basically you start there and then you kind of build from there. So obviously, you know, 99% of the guitar effects out there run on nine volts DC. So that was the, uh, you know, second uh, criterion that we needed to hit. And then you go, okay, how many milliamps can you squeeze out of this form factor? And, you know, that's when we got up into the 2000 milliamp range, uh, that's where you start to see some variations in how efficient the power supply is versus the, the size of the casing. Because obviously, when you're um, when you're running at the uh, the upper levels, um, you know you start to generate some heat as well. So all these mm -hmm. factors need to be kind of considered when you're uh, when you're working on your design. So and, and plus, pedals now are taking you know some of the bigger ones can take sure. quite a bit of juice. Absolutely, yeah. That's another thing. Obviously, a lot of guys are doing either you know full digital or digital analog hybrids, uh, which draw more current. So the more current you have. 
the more pedals you can power and the larger pedals you can power, the more complex pedals you can power. And also what we've found is with the higher current, even the pedals that you have that have a lower current draw will run more efficiently if they're getting more current than they actually pull. So mm -hmm. that's another aspect to it as well. So it's one thing to talk numbers and milliamps and yep. DC, but <laughs> you mentioned you have a pedal board there to kind of see visually sure. how many pedals this can actually power. Yes. So, um, so, we sell the eco adapter in three different formats. You can get the power supply itself by, uh, by itself. We also do a basic kit, which powers five pedals out of the box. In other words, it comes with a five lead daisy chain. So I put together this little pedal board off a five lead daisy chain. This is our TWA brand of pedals. So there's a little, uh, you know, just, we could call this a, you know, a fly board that you would take maybe on, a, on an airplane or if you're can get on an airplane at this point or uh, to a rehearsal or, you know, just a, a, you know, a gig where you can't bring your full rig. So that's the basic kit. But, you know, the cool thing about the power all is you can always daisy chain the daisy chains and add more if you have a larger uh, pedal board or you decide to add more pedals down the road. So that's prop number one. Uh, prop number two is this beast. And the, the third iteration of the eco adapter we offered in the deluxe kit. The deluxe kit has 11, an 11 lead daisy chain. So you could hook up 11 pedals out of the box. So I threw this together yesterday to show <laughs> you guys um, what you could do right out of the box with, with the eco adapter deluxe kit. Is that all with one plug-in? Correct. That's off one, yeah. the one eco adapter power supply, which is off on a strip over to the side here. So, mm -hmm. um, as wow. you can see, the other thing I wanted to point out why I used, uh, why I selected some of these pedals is the deluxe kit and basic kits also come with a bunch of jumper cables. If you have, you know, the, the, um, the industry standard is pretty much a, what's called a, a barrel connector, a tip negative barrel connector, but some pedals obviously use different connectors. Um, for example, the line six, uh, they like a 2.5 millimeter reverse polarity connector. So we offer one of those as a jumper cable that you can attach to your daisy chain. The Moger Fogers use a, a reverse polarity, just a, a tip positive power uh, input. So we have a, a cable red. Um, and the Tube Screamer, which so many guys use, use a phone plug. Um, so we have a, a cable blue, which is a 3.5 millimeter phone plug. And, uh, so we just, you know, these are just various pedals. Some of these guys we distribute other ones are obviously just things that we had laying about. And I wanted to show you some of just what you could do out of the box. Now, the interesting thing is, I mean, the great thing is this pedal board weighs 18 pounds as it is. And, um, you know, so if you were going to use, let's say, uh, you know, a DC brick kind of thing, uh, power spot, you're going to add additional weight to it. So the, the eco adapter allows you to kind of keep the, uh, you know, the travel weight down on your, on your pe pedal board. Um, in addition, this board right here as is when it's running at max, it's pulling uh, 900 milliamps of current. And uh, so you could theoretically power two of these off of an eco adapter and still have about uh, 200 milliamps of current left over for other pedals. So mm -hmm. there you go. Wow. Yeah. All right. So the big question, what yeah. will be the price and availability? Price and availability. Well, we're shipping the eco adapter now. It's available mm -hmm. uh, directly off our website. It's also available at uh, a lot of online retailers like Musician's Friend, American Musical Supply, uh, available on Amazon, Long McQuaid, and a lot of independent dealers as well. Um, the cost is as follows. The single supply itself is $25 street price. The basic kit is $35 and includes those additional uh, five lead daisy chain and the additional jumpers for the uh, various types of connectors. And the deluxe kit is $45 and that comes with the cable yes. 11 and the additional jumpers as well. All right, so what will be the website people can go to to check out your stuff, Kevin? If you want to check this out, you can go to www.godlike.com slash eco, and that'll take you right to the eco adapter page. Well, thanks again, Kevin, for joining us and telling us all about uh, your new eco-friendly power adapter. This is uh, Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar, and make sure to check out all of our gear demos. Thanks, Jason. Take care.